hello everybody in this video we're going to study about code converters so example i have taken as bcd to xs3 code converter so you can see a block over here this is the general structure of code converter bcd to xs3 code converter where i have taken 4 bit because we know bcd is 4 bit code so 4 bit i have taken and uh, it is getting uh, converted over here under this uh, circuit and i'm getting the xs3 code over here okay so how it is getting converted and what is inside this that i'm going to explain uh, in this video okay so two table i have designed over here decimal number i have taken 0 to 9 because we know bcd is uh, having a valid points from 0 till 9 beyond 9 it is invalid okay we need to go for, go for a correction factor so to know more about bcd you can defer my old videos right so i have taken 0 to 9 for bcd there is decimal number okay because bcd is nothing but a binary coded uh, decimal then i represent this decimal number 0 to 9 in bcd format okay that is b3 b2 b1 and b0 so we nicely have mentioned uh, 0 0 0 0 from that 1 0 0 1 now i want that in xs3 right because i'm encoding from bcd to xs3 code converting okay so in xs3 we don't have zero okay i mean to say that it starts from three so zero over in bcd will represent three in xs3 so you can see it is zero zero one one okay one means one plus three is four so zero one zero zero in this way i proceeded till the last and we are finding nine plus three okay that is nine ten eleven twelve so you can see one one zero zero there is twelve okay so whatever in bcd i'm getting i'm adding three to it to get the xs3 so accordingly i have I've given the bit values over here once this table is over okay what i want i want xs3 code from the input of bct so that means i need circuit for this xs3 code uh, to get generated okay so i'll this e3 e2 e1 e0 for this i need what i need equations once i get the equation i can design the circuit so this e3 is depending on whom depending on completely bct all these four values okay similarly e2 is also depending on these four values to get its value e1 is also depending on these four values to get uh, its own value e0 similarly depending on this four values of vcd okay or four bits of vcd rather you can say so accordingly what i've done is that for e3 i've designed a k map four variable k map for e2 e1 e0 independently i've designed a four variable k map okay you can see the k maps over here so for e3 b3 b2 b1 b0 okay and uh, i plot the map over here for e2 also plot the map e1 and e0 so what i've done is that i have taken 0 till 9 okay whatever value for e3 is there i plotted over here and from 9 to 15 i've taken that as don't care okay similarly for e2 e1 and e0 then you see i have done the m uh, grouping over here this is how to do grouping grouping you can see in my previous videos for k map which i've given so i'm getting an octet over here and two quad over here so i got the equation and when i further uh, substitute the equation i'm getting b3 i've taken b2 common here so b0 plus b1 similarly over here i'm getting uh, one pair and uh, two quads and i'm landing with the equation of for e2 that is b2 b1 bar b0 bar plus b2 bar b0 plus b1 only common okay here i'm getting in e1 two quad that is giving me b1 x0 b0 and here i'm getting a one octet that is b0 complement and now I have designed the circuit for that. This B3, B2, B1 is the input, BCD inputs that I have taken vertically. And then, as per this equation, I have plotted the circuit over here. So, this is how we are designing code converters. Okay. The same concept you can use to design various type of code converters. Okay. Thank you for watching my video.